Hey guys, I have a review on some high-end ponytails for you guys. This is by Insert Name here. They did send me these for review purpose. I have two ponytails and a wig. I will do the wig in a separate video just because I don't want these videos to be too long. So we'll do both of the ponytails here and then we'll do the wig in a separate video. I am by no means an expert when it comes to um, applying ponytails or wigs or anything like that, but I thought that it would be really fun and I hope hope to get better at it little by little. So um, yeah, so we're gonna go ahead and jump in. I have two ponytails. One of them is the famous one from Ariana's Grande um, video. It's, I think it's called In My Head. And she had like that beautiful long ponytail. So if you've ever wanted to kind of have her style of ponytail, I would definitely recommend them. I am gonna leave them linked down below and they also gave me a coupon code, which I will leave down below if you wanna get some money off of one of these. So before we jump in, um, I went ahead and played with two of the colors. So one of them is the Maya, which is the style from the Ariana Grande video. And this is in mixed brown, just because I do have kind of like a mixed brown as my natural hair. I feel like this one's a little bit lighter than what my natural hair is and then the other one is the very beautiful one with the tinsel in it this is called Casey in black brown and I feel like I could use either one of these their customer service is a really good about helping you decide which one matches your hair better so you can definitely DM them or reach out to them for help and you know maybe show them a picture and they will kind of help you match you to which one fits you better also I wanted to go ahead and show you guys what they come in they come in the these like 100% recyclable cartons right here and they all come with their own little bag for storage so you can just store it in here and close it in there I do like um, like hanging my extensions so that's probably what I'll do with these ponies is hang them just because I feel like they um, don't like um, not as much and you can keep them nice and even I do use a brush you can probably find one on Amazon these kinds of brushes are good for wigs and for or extensions just to brush them out and keep them nice and unknotted so we're gonna go ahead and jump in and I'm gonna start out with the uh, Maya mix brown and I'm so excited to um, try this out and it does come with little bobby pins in here and you basically like do a high ponytail and wrap it around your ponytail and have like an extension you can also do a bun and then add it to the bun so we're gonna try to see which one looks better on me so the first thing that I'm gonna do is bring up my hair into a high ponytail so that is my just natural hair with the ponytails you can see that's basically the natural color of my hair I have like brownish hair and we are gonna take Maya out of this little netting so here she is and basically what you have here is what goes around your pony itself to kind of cover the pony and then here is the pony itself so um, this one's already combed out um, so you wouldn't have any problems but I definitely recommend having a um, brush for you know for just untangling them as you use them because you don't want it to um, become too tangled so this is what it looks like on the inside it has a little comb and it has a little space so basically this is my first time doing this so be patient with me so I'm gonna just put it on top of my ponytail and just just clip it in okay my ponytail is not <laughs> not hard enough it's actually bringing it down because I didn't I'm probably gonna have to use like a, a rubber band this is too soft for it so I'll be right back okay so off camera I went ahead and redid my ponytail but I used an elastic band so um, you want something that will be more secure and you know really heavy duty on your hair you know really tight because you don't want this to move so we're gonna go ahead and pop this on with the clip inward so I just clipped it in and then I'm gonna push the hair let me see what my say if these okay yeah these bobby bins come out and this has a velcro so we're just going to ring it around okay this is a lot of hair 
So the Velcro in place and just bring this around to cover that Velcro and bring it around again. And we're gonna bobby pin this with the bobby pins that it came with. So. Okay. Woo! She is a lot of hair. Holy crap. Okay, so I am so surprised at how much hair this is. Um, this actually comes like halfway down my body. So that's how long it comes. I'm five foot five, so it comes all the way to my waist. Um, I think I would definitely do a um, like a little bun and then attach this on. I think it would attach better just because I do have thin hair and I can feel this like weighting down on me so I feel like it would look a lot better and more natural because you can definitely see where my hair ends there so I would definitely recommend doing a bun. So let's try this again with a bun. Okay so I went ahead and did a really tight high um, bun just to see if this will go better with this. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and take the clip and basically just clip that into my bun and then take the Velcro and apply this around. And I do feel like you need more than two bobby pins. It does come with two, but I feel like you need more than two. So we're just going to wrap that around where that Velcro is and keep wrapping it hopefully without grabbing some of this other hair which i have been grabbing <laughs> okay so let's okay this is a fail okay no no bad melissa it's gonna be to the base of it okay so we're gonna go ahead and put this into the base of my hair and just really put that comb in there. And then take the Velcro around really tight. And then swing this around. Okay, yeah. Oh yeah, that feels so much better and tighter. And then we're gonna take a few bobby pins and Just bobby pin that hair down. Okay. You just want to like make sure you feel like nice and secure with it. I do feel like this is a little light for my hair color. I wish it was a little bit darker, but you know, it kind of is what it is. So that is a very high ponytail as you can see there and I feel like it goes better with the bun than actually like just doing a ponytail. If you have a lot of hair maybe you could get away with it especially if the color is very similar to yours but this is what it looks like. Is that not super super cute and I am going to try on the Casey one next but this is what, this is what it looks like. Is that not so cute like that is such a high ponytail and the hair comes halfway down like it covers like my boobs basically but that's what it looks like um is that not so cute like i could definitely see myself like wearing this out and wearing it like this let me know what you guys think about it what are your thoughts on this whole <laughs> of hair. Likewise, I'm going to do the same thing with Casey. I love the little tinsels in here, the little sparkle to it. So we're just going to open her up and likewise she has this. I feel like this one's going to match my hair a lot better. I wish I had gotten this dark brown as the Mia one as well just because I feel like it goes better with my hair. I feel like I could still get away with the Mia because a lot of people have balage or bulage or whatever it's called where you have like darker roots and then lighter. So I could still get away with it but I feel like just if I wanted it to go completely with my hair I think that I should have gone with the black brown. So likewise I'm going to take this and just whoa <laughs> and just insert the comb into my head firmly and then once it's nice and firm 
go around with the Velcro and then, whoa, whoa, buddy. The tensils are kind of wilding out a little bit on me. So let's just try to get these out of the way here. So um, just trying to unwrap these. Okay, there it goes. So some of them have come around. It's going to be okay. And then just wrap it around nice and tight here. And then once I do that, I'm gonna go ahead and put some bobby pins in there to hold it down. And I think like if I was gonna go out with this hair, I would definitely put like some gel and spray on my natural hair just to keep it like from being so frizzy in the front. Okay. Oh, she is fun. Look at that. Um, and I, oh God, I left a little chunk of her out. Okay, so we can just fix that by going around again and just clipping her in. Ooh, this is so much fun. Oh God. Oh God, I love this one. Look how much fun this is. Okay, let's just, this is so much fun. I love the sparkles in here. Is that not? Oh, that is so cute. Um, so I will be inserting pictures at the end so you guys can see up to where it goes on my body, how they look like in pictures. But this looks like so much fun just to go out. Um, and I would wear this in daylight. Like, I have no shame in my game. I absolutely love this. I love how high end it is and just, just like gorgeous. This looks like so much fun. Um, and just adds a, like a lot of fun and pop to your um, look. Yeah, yes. And nothing beats a high ponytail. Um, I love Ariana Grande, so this is just so cool and so much fun. Let me know what you guys think in the comments below. I kind of showed you guys my trial and error of what worked, what didn't for me. To me, if you have thinner hair, I would definitely go with a bun. I feel like it feels more secure. It just locks into place and definitely have some bobby pins in hand and you want a nice strong rubber band when it comes to actually putting your ponytail up in your head. Um, I just feel like it just feels a lot more secure. So I'd love your thoughts down below. I'm super excited. I really want to order the dark one by itself without the tinsels just to use like every day as well um, this is so pretty and they have shorter ones and longer ones and they also have a lot of wigs look out for my wig video like I said below I will like I said below, like I said before, I do have their website and a coupon code. If you guys are interested in using that, definitely do. I don't get compensation for it. It's just for them to kind of know like if, you know, I drove any sales towards them. But this is absolutely gorgeous. You will definitely see me wearing this and sporting this in my Instagram looks. So um, definitely follow me on Instagram down below and subscribe if you're not subscribed and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye guys.